with KC Podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix. And yeah, we got to get into this. So people are filing taxes right now, which I can't believe I haven't filed my taxes yet. Usually I file my taxes right in January, but I've just been, I don't know. I've been coasting a little bit lately and I'm doing my best to get out of that. But I digress. So she says that Cash App is giving back the most money in filing taxes, which I kind of feel like this is sus. But at the same time, part of me feels like just a little bit. Cash App might be getting back at the United States government. (laughs) Hear me out. So for those who don't know, there were some change in the tax. There was a change in the tax laws over the last few years. And it's this thing now where all the cash apps, the Zells, the PayPals, and, and so on and so forth, but mostly the cash apps. If you receive more than $600 from cash app, and again, I'm not a tax consultant, financial planner, or anything like that. This is not financial advice. If you receive more than $600 from cash app, It has to be reported in your taxes. If it's not reported in your taxes, they could come looking for you. Now, this is the thing. These new tax laws that have been implemented over the last few years have now created more burden on businesses to keep track of everything. And actually, I work for a company where they had to redo their entire accounting process and get a new payment processor because they had to comply with the new tax rules and they needed an, a payment processor that was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Equipped, thank you. That was um, equipped to deal with the new changes. So it's, it's created a burden on businesses. So part of me feels like Cash App was like, well, if you're going to cost me more money, I'm going to cost you more money. And I'm going to find every tax loophole that I can find for people who come to us so they don't have to pay you as much. And what she's saying is, is that one company was offering like $750, another company was offering whatever, and then Cash App was offering $3,000 is what she's saying. So, yeah. And her comments and when i listened to this the thing that started playing through my head was nene leaks from real housewives of atlanta when she went to go visit kenya and she's like oh the ghetto (laughs) how she was saying it (laughs) so yeah i'm i love my ghetto people because i can be ghetto myself at times but yeah she she was doing it so viewer discretion there is a lot of language in this so I, I'm giving you that heads up right now there's a lot of language in this but what she was saying I couldn't find the lie even though she was cussing up a storm except on the baby part she didn't have to bring the baby into it but I was like okay where's the lie from what she's saying so here I'm about to play it now um, yeah turbo tax said I'm getting back 600. Free tax USA said I'm getting back 750 but bitch cash app say I'm getting back 3k so who the fuck you think I'm about to take my motherfucking chances with cash app baby I'm about to take my motherfucking chances with cash app baby cause I don't know they done sent all this motherfucking money to Ukraine but bitch y'all gonna pay me y'all gonna pay me I ain't had that motherfucking baby for nothing y'all gonna pay me um yeah <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah that's what she was talking about uh, that part where I didn't have that baby for nothing, y'all gonna pay me. <laughs> I love how she um, brought up where we were sending money to, and that's been my whole thing. We have money for all these other places, but I'm not about to get too political because this podcast isn't about that. But I'm with her on what she said. It's like, you doing this, but what about me? Anyways, so in here for the comments, which I went through some of them, one person said, I hope you get audited. <laughs> And then one person said, high risk, high reward. Someone else says, uh, delete this for you put everybody on and something negative happened. <laughs> and then she's like, uh, laughing my ass off. That won't have nothing to do with me. I didn't do no PPP loan and they still free. I ain't missing no money. <laughs> and then one person said, man, TurboTax told me 10K. Cash App told me 20K. <laughs> And then she said, laughing my ass off. Yeah, I take um, that risk and move to to Bali. (laughs) 
<laughs> you could um, live about three years off that 20K. <laughs> I can't with these people. Risking their freedom. I'm having to plug in my laptop right quick. There we go. So, yeah, let me go ahead and go down. And then another one said, meanwhile, I'm still mad because I didn't apply for that PPP. It's been three years and these people still living their life. And she said, exactly. I'll never be dumb again. The rich got richer off PPP loans. And then one person commented about the baby. I had that baby for nothing as well. <laughs> And then she was like, no, because why all the numbers never come out the same with the same W-2? And one person said, sweetie, get a passport. And if the IRS want to get funny, leave. <laughs> so, yeah, she's taking her chances with um, Cash App. And I honestly, like I said, it, part of me, if this is real. Meaning that if Cash App can really get her back 3K and it's legitimate, I honestly feel like part of me is like Cash App giving the middle finger to the IRS. Like, okay, you're going to put make us do it. Or not really the IRS, but the government in general. It's like, well, you're going to make us do all these regulations and keep track of all these people, all this money for these people when it's only like $600? Mm. Okay. Well, then we really about to get into the, we really about to get into the details. We're going to get everybody back money. And, and I kind of feel like it might be that energy if this is real, because she could go into that thing and they say 3K. But then when she logs in and goes through the process and gets to the end, they're like, oh, you're only going to get back a thousand. So who knows? But that's all I got. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Podcast carried everywhere. Until next time, be blessed.